Hello everybody and happy Vlogmas day number four. I am just leaving work. You can probably hear the airplane. And it is currently almost 4.30 p.m. and I have been here at the airport since 4 a.m. and I am exhausted. So last night about, I guess, seven o'clock, one of my coworkers, who I'm really good friends with, she messaged me and was like, hey, I'm not feeling good. Are you able to cover my shift in the morning? Um, Ryan is out flying right now. So I was like, sure, why not? I have nothing else going on. <clears throat> but the only bad thing was is since it was so late in the evening for a um, 4 a.m. shift, I immediately had to like get the dogs taken out, get my clothes ironed, and pretty much get in bed and go to sleep because I was only gonna get about six hours of sleep at that point, which is fine. I did, I got six hours of sleep, got up, came in, did my 12 hours, but I am happy that it is done. And now I get two days off in a row. So I'm off Thursday and Friday and Ryan will fly back tomorrow evening so we'll get to spend all of Thursday evening together and then all day Friday together oh and I'm actually off Saturday because we're going on a little adventure which will be a vlogmas so we're super excited about that but it's vlogmas day number four even though I'm tired I think I'm gonna go home and finish decorating our front yard so I'm super excited to show you guys what that is gonna look like at the end of the evening so I'm currently gonna swing by grab some food I'm gonna be really Really bad today um, although we try to follow keto as closely as we can there is a burger shop here in Austin called P Terry's and I am totally gonna stop and grab a burger but I don't feel so bad because Ryan sent me pictures this morning of them eating beignets from Cafe du Monde on the airplane this morning um, so I don't feel so bad I'm gonna have me a burger so I will check in with you guys when I start the decorating process Okay, I've made it home from work. I have showered, decompressed from the day, and now it's time to start my next project, which uh, involves a bunch of boxes of lights like this and some ground stakes. What we do is we make a light display on the ground in front of our house instead of hanging lights on our home. Because like Ryan said, our home is probably about two and a half stories high because we have 12 foot ceilings on both floors. So it's not super easy to hang lights from the eve of our home, but we do a really cool display on the ground. So I'm about to get started doing that and I'm super excited to show you guys. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much, <laughs> but one strand is done. I only have four more strands to go and it's going to border our entire property line all the way up there. And then all the way around there as well. So about four more strands to go. And then it doesn't look like much at night, but once it gets darker, I'll turn it all on and reveal. Okay, it's officially dark outside. I just flipped on the Christmas lights. Let's go see what they look like. Oh, it looks so cute. I like it. It's not much, but it's enough. Better than anyone else on the street. Look at this, nothing. They have some light up candy canes, but that's about it. Anyways, so this is gonna do it for Vlogmas Day number four. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.